obviously you enjoy uh, what you do, your craft, you love it. What's What are some of the challenges that you face? Uh, what makes you um, question yourself sometimes? The biggest challenge that I see right now is that because of online dating, our culture has gotten, it's changed. Our culture has gotten very visual oriented. Men are visual by nature. They're always visual. visual. I can't get a guy to say yes to an introduction if he's not attracted at some level to who she is on the visuals. But we girls, we can fall in love with men over time if we're studying your character, if you make us laugh, if we respect you and feel comfortable with you, you get better looking. But the way dating is done today with the swiping apps, really good men are getting thrown in the trash. And what happens is the same four guys are selected all day long. And the same four women are selected all day long. And the online dating sites perpetuate this because popular people keep them buying another membership. It's, it's kind of sinister. So I like to pick up the slack and I provide two types of introductions for my clients. One, for my high level matchmaking clients, I'm their personal love slave. And I choose these clients very carefully. If I don't think it's a good investment for them, if I don't think I'm going to have an enjoyable journey through the process of these introductions, I can just feel it. I, I will encourage them to do dating a different way. So I like to do also the community service matches. And I don't know very many matchmakers who do this at all. And it's a regular course of activity here at my desk. Anybody who's done a consultation with me or has been in my boot camps, former clients, they're still eligible for introductions. And when I provide it, there's no fee attached. There's no contract. It's a mitzvah match. It's a gift. It's a blessing. And since I started doing those introductions, it was during COVID when I was bored. It's been amazing. And the efficacy of the mitzvah matches way higher than the introductions people are paying a lot of money for. So I've learned something that the type of person who signs on with a matchmaker at a high level is not necessarily the type of person who's most likely to get into a relationship. So it's been a wonderful exercise for me to study. So, so that is wonderful insight. And it, there is an analogy, actually, uh, uh, Julie. We have been interviewing people even outside of uh, dating matchmaking industry. And there is the kind of consistency there um, that I hear more and more. Leveling up the field, you know, matchmaking uh, job candidates, fresh university graduates with, you know, you know, with companies. Another one was with the talent actors, helping them to match them with the career, you know, with the jobs, with the, with the roles. It seems that matchmakers are out there personalizing this, humanizing this, bringing this, you know, personal touch and leveling up the field. It's an interesting analogy that I just, I just, it just connected in my mind again. You are leveling up the field uh, in the dating industry. You're helping men who deserve better and helping women who deserve better, but can't do that on apps, 